Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of the C Sharp X and A game programming -ing -ing stuff, itty stuff, stuff. I really need to come up with an actual name for this series. <laughs> Well, anyway, sorry guys, it took so long for me to get another episode up. Uh, school started back up again, and I somehow got volunteered to run a game programming club. Um, it's a little ironic, given the situation. Only we're using Unity, but that, that, that's a later series. Well, anyway, let's get on to adding a couple start and end screens after we... See what we've done so far. Cause it's been a while since we, or at least been a while since I've seen it. Yay, game! Alrighty, let's get on to making some start and end screens now. Why does it do that when I'm recording? Ah, uh, bye guys. I'll get back to making end screens and stuff. Alrighty, so let's get on to adding some starting and end screens. It's actually. Pretty simple. We may actually we may have a episode that's less than twenty minutes for once. Already ex yes, I want to please. Uh, the wondrous difficulties of recording more than once. Anyway, let's <laughs> let's get on to this. So all we really have to do to add our start and end screens is we're gonna need a couple more textures. Dog out. So add another texture 2D, and we're going to make that end, just how about start and end? I haven't used those yet. Start and end, have those, and we're also going to need a couple more boolean variables. So we can go bool. So add in a bool, and we're going to do start screen is on and a end screen is on alrighty so and to start off we're gonna start with start screen equals true and end screen equals false there we go and after that, now we come down here. Oh, wait. Need one more thing. Gonna need a rectangle. Rectangle? And just a screen rectangle. So just screen. We don't need any different one for the starter end. So now we gotta come down here to our load content. That should be all the variables we need. And now to find all our textures, we want end equals this dot content dot load you guys know the drill by now <laughs> and this how many times like 50 <laughs> well not 50 actually this is our fourth but meh mm meh -hmm. yeah I am out of practice for this start should have a there we go start equals this dot content dot load content dot load lulu 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 lu. texture two d d d d nope wrong thing you got to make sure that's a parenthesis not a bracket or a nine because neither of those work and another uh, copy and what are you talking about property values not valid copy paste there we go apparently just wants me to use hotkeys alrighty and now we come down here to define our rectangle and screen equals new rectangle and here's a little trick you guys probably already know what we're gonna do here but we first need to have our sprite or our well, I guess technically it is a sprite, but we're using what well, we're using for our back and end screens. We want those to be the size of the screen. So the first thing we can do, well, we know that we want it centered in the corner, 
so zero zero so that way it's centered and not like hanging off the screen with some weird borders and we it's just zero zero and then we can do graphics device dot viewport dot width and that will make the rectangle the exact width of our screen that we're building it in. No matter what size we make the screen, we can go back in later in the game and have this thing run in full screen, and this would still work. Which wouldn't be the case if we were to add like 600 and 400. And it also works the same for graphics device dot viewport viewport dot height. It works just fine, and now we have a rectangle that encompasses the entire screen. Hence, screen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's not funny at all. <laughs> That's not in the least bit funny. Alrighty, and now, now we have to do so. All of this here in our game time, our update, where we put all our controls, that is stuff that we only want to happen when there's no starter end screen. So, uh, that's gonna be a big if statement. So just take all of this stuff, it is stuff, stuff, stuff. Let's see, can we tab it all over? Sweet. And then we put in an if statement. Now we can do if start screen is on equals tr false and these two little ands here when you put them next to each other it's just like saying and end screen is on equals false so what all this is going to do let me explain while I come down here what that's going to do is make it to where none of this stuff happens while we're on the start screen or the end screen so you're not going to be hearing the um, all the stuff, like the sound effects and whatnot, running in the background. But it should still play the music. Uh, I'll make sure anyway later. And now down here, in our sprite batch, we want the same thing. So tab over, and we put sprite batch dot or wait, if statement, if start screen is on equals false, and, 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 you gotta have the double and, end screen is on equals false. Then put all those in brackets, so now it'll only draw all of our sprites here when the start screen and end screen are off. Kind of cool little addition. Dun, 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 don't know no one no one fine fine well anyway so now since we have all the mechanics set up now we have to figure out how to draw the start screen so that should be pretty simple just be like dude just be like if the start screen is on equals true and then we go down here and then sprite batch dot draw sprite batch dot draw I feel like it's a review day in school that's this is wonderful start there's a, I don't think we're really going over anything new just kind of an interesting little trick and then color dot white just standard stuff just like drawing a normal sprite only we aren't really having it do anything and then if start screen or end screen end screen is on equals true excuse me everybody now we do another sprite batch dot draw. Whoa, we're drawing sprites. We're drawing sprite. No, I don't want end screens on. I want end. 
then screen, and then a color to light. Light. I like the light. It's a fun. It's fun to say colors. <coughs> Whoa, that was random. Well, anyway, so now we have it all set up. Ooh, that's gonna error. Let's fix that. So now I have it all set up to where... What are you talking about? Start does not exist in current context. What did I call those? Oh, I capitalized them. Stupid me. Stupid. What, the, what are you talking about? You's, nah. Code. Your amazing tolerance for me screwing up is not... That's not helping. Alright, so now we have it all set up to where when we press F5, we should get start screen. And the music playing. Yes! But now you notice it says left click for one player and right click for two. We're not getting either. So let's go set up the mechanics for that now. Um, I think we'll add two player in the next... Oh, jeez! Uh, here, I'll stop that. See you guys in a second! Whoa, sorry about that, guys. Uh, apparently my audio goes crazy after I stop playing audio when I'm recording. That's really weird. Anyway, where were we? We were setting up the mechanics of how this, like, to go from the start screen to the stuffity stuffity stuff stuff. Now, anyway... So, that's not too difficult. Let's see if we can burn that out real quick. So, just do an if start screen is on equals true. Now, we don't really need to do too much. Uh, hmm, what button should we have turn the start screen off? Hmm. You know what? I kind of already put in mouse clicks, so let's let's go over how to do mouse. It's to how to get mouse state and stuff. I think it's the same as the keyboard. Yeah, mouse state, mouse equals mouse dot get state. Do 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 do. Okay, now I have a new mouse state, so we can use mouse commands. Then, if uh, mouse mouse dot do, 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 dot left button is that the left button? Let's see, yeah, the left button. Let's see, how do you do this? Equals equals. Is it mouse dot hum and a hum and a hum and a hum and a hum? Okay, I know I did this before. Hang on, guys, I gotta look it up. Okay, guys, I found it, found it, found it, found it. Mouse dot left button equals button state dot pressed. Aha! I knew I'd do it somewhere stuck in my brains anyway so that's how you detect a mouse click <laughs> kind of I, f I feel so unprofessional having to look that up anyway then we do start screen is on equals false cause everything's false now let's run that okay and click! Aha! And we're back to game! Yay! We're back to game! Alrighty. So, we're gonna have to do that for the other two as well, but, um... Given that my audio got all whack last time I closed this, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording now and be back with you guys when I get the audio not screwed up. Huh. Apparently that's all it took was to pause the recording. Yay! <laughs> okay. So, something else we're gonna have to do. I guess we can just add the if statement for the end screen is on. So, if 
end screen is on equals true then we'll just have it be like I don't know let's let's just kind of copy this control C control V copy and paste the most wonderful thing ever that equals true and then end screen is on equals false don't you just love copy and paste? I know I love copy and paste. It's the most wondrous, wonderful thing ever to be wondrously invented. <laughs> I like copy and paste. It's almost as good, maybe even better than Control Z. Ooh, that's that's quite a statement right there. Alrighty, so what I did here is all I did is I copied our end screen is on. You know, let's do something else here. Let's do an or. So these two lines you see here, vertical lines, um, if you're using a stand, I noticed a lot of people, uh, when I was telling them to do it in the club, didn't know where that key was. So, just for reference, if you're using a standy QWERTY keyboard, that button is above the enter, and you hold shift to push it. But, uh, just, just to note, but anyway, when you put two of those lines like that, it's a lot like when you put the two ands, only it's or. It's kind of cool, actually. It's not and, it's or. <laughs> so now we don't have to put, like, 50 bajillion if statements, because it's just, if left button's pressed, or if right button's pressed, it does the same thing. Mm. Ooh, I got an email. Ooh. Anyway, I'll check that later. All right, so I just did that there. So if the end screen's on, you click anything, it'll send you back to the start screen. And I should also do uh, the scores. So stickman1 score equals zero. And stickman2 score... Man, stick man to score. There we go. Equals zero, not nine. And we'll also put stick man to rectangle dot y equals zero. And stick man to stick man one rectangle dot y equals zero. And pretty much are just setting the game back to where it was before and then ball rectangle um, ball move right equals true ball move up, up equals false this is becoming quite a long line um and ball dot rec ball rectangle dot y equals zero and ball rectangle dot x capital x equals graphics device dot viewport the viewport is what we've done today dot width divided by two so it's not at the very end of the screen. Okay, now that we have established all those variables are all set up, that's all that's really going to do is just reset the game as soon as we click. So now we've done that, and stuff, and stuff, stuff. It's always funny when you say something with a weird accent. And we're also, um, I'm going to go up and declare a new variable... You know what, actually, no, we'll do that next time when we add uh, single-player capabilities. So anyway, now we go back down to our this thingamajiggerer. This, 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 like my like my little nephew. Little nephew, he's, he's a cute, but he's, he's not incredibly, well, I guess for his age, he's pretty smart. But, I mean, he's just kind of... Seems like he knows five words, and apparently thinks everything <laughs> can be explained in those five words. 
Ah, babies. Mm, babies are funny. Funny, funny babies. Alrighty, so now we go down here. So what we're doing here is we want... We want our... Stuffity, stuffity stuff. What am I talking? I am saying gibberish. Ah, gibberish. We want our scores to be displayed on the end screen. So what we're doing here is we're putting the that stuff on there. So, yeah, sure. Da 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 da. -da. That's and then like forty. Oh, uh, jeez. I am an amazing genius of explaining absolutely nothing of what I'm doing. I guess I'll just... Let's see what happens. Hopefully... Okay. Okay, game's working so far. Pause recording. That's kind of annoying that I have to pause every time. Anyway, so now we have to figure out what we want the maximum score to be. So let's do int max score do 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 and say five. Let's make that one for now, just for testing purposes. And then we go down here to this thing. If if I love if statements, I use if statements so much, so much. Max score. The return of the or statement. <laughs> da da da. No, stick man to score. Score is greater than max score. Then be all like. Then end screen is on. Equals true. There we go. So now I have it to where whoever gets max score first wins. Yay! Actually, whoever gets more than max score wins. Now let's try and see how this works. Okay. Left click for one. For okay, for two player apparently. Let player two win. Ooh, it's neck and neck. They're tied. And player two wins. Alrighty, so see that's what I was trying to do. Put our score up here. So it looks like we need to move them way down and quite a ways over. Okay, let's do Alrighty, so now we gotta move them down. Move these down and over. So let's make these, let's see, our screen is 800 wide. 700 and 100 and then let's see 800 by 600 so let's do 400 there and 400 there and now we try just hurry up and lose want to lose quickly Make me lose quickly. Aha. Okay, we got the vertical good. Now let's move them closer together. No, stop. Alright, so now move them closer together. Let's do 600 and 200. Try that now. Hurry up and die, hurry up and die, hurry up and die, hurry up and die, hurry up and die. Up and die. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. Oh, we're so close. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. I'm starting to get that song stuck in my head. Do do do. Okay, let's try 50 more. And we try that. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Gotta die, gotta die, gotta die, gotta die. Da, 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 Close enough for me! <laughs> we'll make that perfect later. Alright, and then I want to add one last little thing in my jigger. So I'll just close real quick. Alright, so the last thing I want to add is uh, something kind of Bethel. 
Alrighty. So, let's declare... Do you guys know that we could actually declare variables down here? Not the very top of the game? I wish I would have known that. Like, ten weeks ago. Whenever I record less 50 videos. Anyway, well, you can call variables down here. So let's call new vectors. Um, let's do winner place. Wiener. Winner place. Never capitalize the first letter of a variable. Jeez, Patrick. That's terribleness. And then loser place. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is going to copy and paste. Actually, I'm not going to just copy and paste. I'm going to do a little bit more than copy and paste. But I'm going to try to put a winner and loser tag over our stuff. So, loser. And we want the loser to be color blue. Because blue is sad and losers are sad. I don't know why they're sad. I mean, at least they tried. But a lot of times the losers are sad. And that's sad. But blue is sad, so let's make it blue. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, I am officially going insane. Stickman 1. <laughs> Stickman to rectangle dot x, and then what was a good fifty? Fifty. We'll just cheat and make it pretty. Cheat and make it pretty. Cheat and make it pretty. All right. So what we're gonna do here to differentiate which one's winning, we're gonna do an if statement. So if uh, what's it called? Stickman two score is greater than Stickman one score. Stickman one score. Then the winner place is going to be Stickman two is rectangle. Then we'll just copy and paste that for the losers place, and we'll do loser. Loser place, loser place. Poor losers. They they must be sad. I just went over this. And just copy and paste and copy and paste. Use of unassigned local variable loser place. Oh, we're getting to that. Don't worry. We will get their game. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, and we will make everything happy, Daisy. Happy Daisy Land. <sighs> it's kind of fun to watch your sanity just kind of slip away for no reason other than the fact that you're talking to yourself in front of a computer, just hoping that the people on YouTube. Oh, jeez, my life is. It's life, I guess. Um, it says I have an error. Hopefully this still works. No, it's not working. Shizen. Well, now we copy and paste. And then copy and paste and copy and paste. And you put that in there. Now we should work. Aha! Now we run it. See how this works. See how this works. Oh, I'm so excited! So excited! Yay! Herb and die! Herb and die! Herb and die! Herb and die! 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 Everyone shall die! Yay! See? 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 Winner? Loser? Placement's a little off, but we can fix that real quick. So let's fix that. So it has to come down quite a ways and over. So let's make that a hundred and a hundred and a hundred and a hundred. And let's add 10, and add 10. Actually, let's do Stickman 2. Um, which one's on the... Oh, guess and check. We'll just see it and hope it works. 
Alright, so Stickman 1, we're going to try adding 10 and subtracting 10. And let's see how this works. Alright, this time let's let Stickman Player 1 win. Yay, or Player 2 win, apparently. Yay! Loser, winner! Loser, winner! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so I'm going to take a quick second and straighten these up. And then I'll see you guys later, I guess. Let's, let's see what these look like all pretty. Alrighty guys, so I think I found it. Let's go play a game real quick. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, that working good. Gotta win, gotta win, gotta win, gotta win, gotta win. Alrighty, so guys, I think this will conclude the episode once we figure out what this looks like. So I will sign up now. Hey, it's looking good! Haha! Yay! Alrighty, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. Sorry if it was slightly boring. I'm a little out of practice. I haven't recorded one of these in a month about. Again, sorry it's so late. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to do all the stubby stuff everyone nags you to do, like the subscribing and the commenting and the being awesome. I'm sure you guys do that anyway. That's about it, everyone. Uh, don't forget, if you want to get hold of me, I got Twitter and everything I'll put down in the description. But I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.